Hello there, milkshakers. Thank you for joining me for another story. And today's is called Patterns, Pumpkin, an Indian Flood Story. And it's written by Chitra Sounder, illustrated by Frenet Lassac. Once upon a time, there was a man called Patton. He lived with his wife, Canny on the banks of a mighty river that galloped down the Sahidra Mountains. They tended the goats, fed the bulls, and rode with the elephants that roamed their lands. Patton grew pepper, rice, nutmeg and bananas. He shared his food with everyone, the animals, the birds and the insects. One day, Patton found an ailing plant in the valley. It had beautiful yellow flowers. I'll plant it by my hut and look after it, he thought. The plant liked its new home. Its yellow flowers smiled at the sun. Look, Patton called one day, a pumpkin has started to grow. The pumpkin grew a little every day. The goats can't reach it now, said Canny. The pumpkin had grown taller than the fence. It was fatter than the pigs. It grew some more. Patton had to climb on the elephants to check the pumpkin. And it still grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon it will be as tall as the mountain, said Patton. The next day, dark clouds gathered. Rain crashed against the rocks in fury. Patton was afraid that the floods would wash away his hut. We should leave the mountains tomorrow, he said. We should take all the animals, birds, beetles and bugs with us and a sapling of every plant and seeds of every grain. But how are they going to take all the creatures with them? Patton couldn't sleep that night. When the pumpkin glowed like fire under a burst of lightning, he had an idea. In the morning, Patton reached for his axe. It's time to harvest the pumpkin, he said. Battling the lashing rain, Patton climbed the mountain. The birds and animals followed him. Patton jumped on top of the pumpkin. Cutting a big hole, he dived into its orange flesh. The birds called out in fear. The goats bleated. The bison snorted. Patton dug into the pumpkin, hollowing its insides. Help me, he called. The goats, the bison and the birds ferried out the pumpkin flesh as fast as they could. The wind blew hard, rocking the pumpkin from side to side. But Patton did not give up. He dug and dug until the pumpkin was hollow. At last, it was big enough for everyone. Down in the valley, Canny filled sacks with grain, seeds and herbs. Patton loaded them onto the goats, elephants and bulls and brought them up the mountainside. Hurry, climb in, Patton cried. The dark evening skies cradled the mountain in darkness. We must leave before nightfall, said Patton, cutting the prickly stem from the plant. Now the pumpkin was free. It rolled down the mountain and bounced into the river. The crested waters of the river carried the pumpkin along. Many a day and night must have passed. No one counted. It rained and rained and rained. Canny sang a lullaby to soothe the baby animals and birds. While the gods of rain and thunder send us a storm, here inside the pumpkin we are safe and warm. One day we will return to our mountain peak, but in this great darkness, light is what we seek. And then, one day, the pumpkin bumped against something and stopped. Patton climbed out into a bright and sunny day. We've reached the plains, he called joyfully. Canny and all the creatures hurried out. The troubles of the rain were finally over. The pumpkin has saved us, said Canny. The animals and birds basked in the sunshine. The next morning, Patton gathered everyone together. It's time to return home, he said. Back in the valley, they built a new house by the river. I'm forever grateful to the pumpkin, Patton said, as he planted the single pumpkin seed he had saved. Patton and Canny had many children and they all made their homes in the foothills of the Zahadri Mountains. Even today, Patton's descendants live in this valley, looking after their animals and growing pumpkins. They remember Patton and Canny with reverence and love. The end. Oh, that was a really lovely story. Thanks for joining me, Milkshakers, and make sure you come back really soon for another story. Today's book was chosen by Pop-Up. 
Pop-Up Projects are the creators of an exciting and unique children's literature festival for schools across the UK. Thanks for listening, Milkshakers. Make sure you like, subscribe and click on the bell so we can let you know when there's more videos for you to watch. And don't forget, we're on Channel 5 every morning from 6 o'clock, so make sure you come say hi.